Hi, I'm Allie Merriam here at the Cannes Film Festival with L'Oreal nail expert Tom Bachik. Yes. You've been so busy doing all sorts of celebrity nails for Amazing the famous stuff. red carpet. Yes. Now, what's your favorite part about being here at Cannes? Um, I have to say just all of the excitement about it. Um, in the States, you know, we have the Oscars, we have the Globes, and we have, you know, the SAG Awards, and we have these nights, but they're a night. And it can, it's two weeks of red carpet, new people coming in every day, and it's just nonstop craziness. Can you kind of walk me through how you and a celebrity client create a nail look together? Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's kind of, we sit down as a group. So myself, as well as hair and makeup and the stylist, uh, the celebrity always has a direction, but they really count on us to bring our expertise to, to the format. So uh, one is the occasion, okay, so it's red carpet, and then we look at the gown and how does it make us feel. And, and the gown, that, you know, for Ken, primarily, we find that it's, it's been very classic. It's been, um, uh, you know, very chic and simple and, and nothing crazy. Um, and then so once we kind of determine that, it's like, okay, now what are we doing with makeup? Is it a strong eye and a nude lip? Is it a very clean face and a dark lip? And then that's how I start to kind of play off of the nail. So we have the occasion, we have the gown, and then how does her makeup look? And then I like to either compliment it or contrast it. Yeah. Like no in between. You either have to be like almost matchy or complete opposite so that the nails really pop and complete the overall look. So it really is a team effort. It's really a team effort. Highly Absolutely. coordinated. Yeah. Now, what's one thing you think someone could do at home to sort of bring a bit of the can glamour into their own nail routine? One is I think nowadays, um, nowadays, <laughs> I think that now uh, nails are the it fashion accessory. Where before it was like, okay, we have to have the right handbag, we have to have the right belt. Now it's like we have to have the right nails to complete the whole look. So I think it's just about having fun with your nails and, and making nails that complement uh, what you're wearing. And I think that's part of what's made nails so popular right now is it's, it's a, an extension of, a, of one's personality. And so you can have as much fun and it's so non-committal, you know, you can feel very chic and sophisticated with a full coverage nude, or you can take it off when you're feeling super sexy and glamorous and put a deep, rich tone on. So you can change your color really as often as you change your mood, and as often as the celebrities change their color from daytime interviews and press to nighttime red carpet. Yeah. Now we have a few kind of fun questions that we need to ask our nail expert about. Okay. Firstly, do you think nail art is a trend that's here to stay? I do. I almost feel now that, uh, and, and nail art is really how I started into nails. I went to school originally for graphic design and got into the beauty industry because of the art of it. Um, and this was early 90s, and it's funny how trends like, takes 20 years to make their full circle, but now I feel like nail art is really part of the culture. Um, and because it is an extension of one's personality, it's a way for them to have a, a unique look of their own that says, this is me, regardless of the entire outfit. Like, yeah, I'm dressed this way, but this is who I am really. As well as we see on the runway, uh, we see on the cover of, you know, the, the fashion magazines or inside on the stories, we see all of these amazing couture looks that uh, are very expensive and maybe not so obtainable, yeah. but we can take those colors, we can take those patterns and put them on our nails, and we are part of that experience. Yeah. And so I think that's why art will be here for a long time. It's much more accessible. It's much more accessible. Now, what's one thing that people can do by themselves at home every day to have better nails? Uh, the key thing is hydration. Mm -hmm. So a great cuticle oil and a moisturizer. In fact, I like to use, uh, in the States we have Revitalift which is actually a facial product, and it's designed for um, helping to speed up uh, renewal of skin of uh, cell generation, reducing fine lines, evening skin tone, as well as uh, SPF 30. And our hands and our neck is one of the easiest way to tell a person's age. So I love to take the great facial products and actually use them on the hands of my clients because I think they're much more effective than just a traditional lotion. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah it works really good. Finally, what's one nail product that you wish existed? Oh, that's a tough one. Do you remember, I, th I want to say it was either the late 80s, early 90s, there was the, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where uh, the secretary is, she has polish on her nails and then she plays in the computer and switches the product then takes a pen and touches it to the nails and the nails switch colors to match. That is an awesome answer. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Tom. Absolutely, it was great to be here. Bye, everyone. Thanks, I'm Allie Marion. Thanks for watching.